how you doing? This is Adam Post, publisher of more than a thousand comic books and marketing expert covering William Shatner destroying Paramount as they cancel Captain Kirk. Let's get into the story. Before we do, please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys. Coming from Fandom Pulse, William Shatner blasts Paramount for its erasure of Captain Kirk saying they feel threatened by the character. And several months back in 2023 from Express UK, Star Trek fans fume as William Shatner reacts to Captain Kirk being removed from advertisement. From Screen Rant, why Star Trek's new show completely ignores Kirk. And this is from back in 2020. Also from Screen Rant, Discovery Season 3 changes Star Trek's original mission. Star Trek's original mission of exploration has given way to Discovery's crucial new purpose, which is necessary in the 32nd century after the burn. It's not about the burn. It's about adventurousness. It's about going out and seeing new worlds, meeting new races. In the case of Captain Kirk, meeting new ladies. The woke people in charge of Paramount do not want a white male adventurous figure who is creative, brave, and incredibly charming. They don't like the Captain Kirk character. They don't want young men to emulate the Captain Kirk character. The woke want you to be a victim. They don't want you to be assertive and they don't want you to find your own way and make your own way. So they eliminate an iconic, successful character that made the Star Trek franchise. Coming from the Fandom Pulse, William Shatner blasts Paramount for its erasure of Captain Kirk. And Fandom Pulse is a great new media website from John De La Rose. He's been working really hard on it and he's got the best coverage of this story. Make sure you check out FandomPulse.com. I'll have a link to it in my description. William Shatner took shots at Paramount over the handling of the Star Trek franchise and the erasure of the most beloved character in Star Trek history, Captain Kirk. Prompted by a question from Twitter user HeroStratus, quote, but will we ever see Captain Kirk again? William Shatner took a recent Paramount Star Trek Originals promotional image with a poster with every captain from every Star Trek show on the image, but oddly, Captain Kirk is missing from that image. Shatner wrote along with the image, quote, all you have to do is look at the Paramount graphics to answer that question. And incredibly, Paramount, which has its own severe financial problems right now, which could certainly use any help trying to make their intellectual property look more valuable, who could actually say, aside from the few iconic Marvel characters, the iconic Star Wars characters, the Star Trek characters of, say, Kirk and Spock are so incredibly well-known, incredibly potentially valuable, but of zero interest to Paramount because they don't promote and validate the kind of human beings that the woke Paramount management want walking the Earth. To consider, here is a 91-year-old man who is still charming, is still working, is the main character in your franchise, and you don't want to use him. William Shatter is doing reality shows all the time. Why not do some type of Star Trek reality show? I mean, completely low budget. You wouldn't have to pay him very much. Or do a major project with him. Do something with him. You're just waiting for him to die? What is wrong with these people? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Shatner's answer sparked outrage from fans, chief among them the pop culture experts, Nerdrotic, Doomcock, and the Critical Drinker. Nerd Roddick posted, this is a crime against Star Trek. It's a crime against humanity is what it is. Doomcock said, this is a travesty. Captain Kirk is the heart of Star Trek, and without Captain Kirk, the whole thing is a sham. Of course he's right. Everything was built around the character of Captain Kirk. If you took Captain Kirk out of Star Trek, what would you have left? Go back to the original show and try to imagine what is this ship going to do going from planet to planet without Captain Kirk leading the group. Everyone else in the show offsets Captain Kirk. There's nothing wrong with that, but he's the core of the show. It would be like taking Spider-Man out of the amazing Spider-Man and just having like Uncle Ben running around with Aunt May and the Vulture coming and bothering them from time to time. Any success that Paramount has had with any Star Trek property is all derivative of Captain Kirk's over-the-top performance and excitement and passion for the role. It's all William Shatner. Back to Doomcock. God bless William Shatner for the immortal character he created. My childhood hero. Thank you for all the joy you brought me, Bill. You're the best. Critical Drinker asked, quote, why do they keep trying to erase you? However, the discussion didn't stop there as another fan asked William Shatner, 
Has anyone at Paramount come out with an official explanation for this massive flub? Shatner replied once more, taking more shots at Paramount over the handling of the series, stating, quote, it's not the first time it's been going on for years. It makes no difference to me that a group who think they are enlightened or for whatever they think they are, obviously feels threatened by the Kirk character. It's a character from a 1960s show. Get over it. Star Trek would not exist without Captain Kirk. I'm taking it one step further than the article here. The character of Captain Pike, whom Kirk replaced after the pilot, was dry compared to the masculine, swashbuckling hero who helmed the series, which is why the original CBS executives demanded the change after one episode of The Cage. There was only one other character on television who also happened to appear in Star Trek, which was great for the context of the character development for Captain Kirk, who was more manly than Kirk. But he was too manly. He was an absolute conqueror. And that, of course, is the Conqueror Khan. Too much masculine energy is when you take over the planet. Anything less than that is healthy and should be featured in media constantly. Men need their fathers. And especially for men that don't have fathers, they need to see masculine heroes. Now Paramount is running a whole series with Captain Pike as Star Trek star as the Enterprise's captain. And the show has a distinctly de-masculinized feel. Outside of Spock, almost all the cast and senior officers of the ship are now female, with Commander Number 1, Security Officer Lan, Helmsman Ortega, and Communications Officer Uhura. Pike himself takes a much more standoffish role in command than Kirk, being emasculated by his crew at many points during the show. Strange New Worlds has introduced a Lieutenant James T. Kirk character, played by Paul Wesley, as a recurring character who's shown up in several episodes thus far, but the character doesn't feel right at all. Unlike William Shatner, Paul Wesley's character feels beta and unmasculine. The character has no charm, he has no presence, no command of a room. To say that that's supposed to be Captain Kirk is to say they just planned on getting rid of the character entirely. If the character... If the character is not going to have any command of situations and really have a presence, there's no point in using the character at all. That means you're ruining the character and eliminating the character. Wesley confirmed he had orders not to replicate the iconic Captain Kirk character played by William Shatner in an interview, stating the executives told him, please just do your own thing. Literally, please just do your own thing? That's how you develop character identities in a big show in your biggest franchise at Paramount? Just do your own thing? In the 2019 Charlie's Angels film, director Elizabeth Banks told the cast, we're not going to be doing wardrobes for the characters on this film. Just come dressed any way that you're comfortable. There were other problems with this movie, but that stood out to me as an incredible example of absurdity and unprofessionalism without concern for trying to present compelling characters and give thought to who these characters are supposed to be. Wardrobe is a huge part of a character's identity. It's as if it's a deliberate attempt to water down the franchise. And of course, this movie, Charlie's Angels, was a big financial failure. With William Shatner mocking Paramount's marketing of new Star Trek, it became apparent that the brand has significant problems living up to what it was in the past. Fans are noticing, too, with one user posting a fixed version of the Paramount marketing giving Captain Kirk the space he deserves on the poster. And there he is at the top in the center of the poster. All of these Star Trek captains, all these Star Trek properties are derivative of Captain Kirk and what William Shatner brought to the role. Dozens of fans tweeted similar images stating that William Shatner's Captain Kirk is Star Trek. Without him, the brand has nothing. Let me know what you think of all this in the comments below. Always love to see your ideas. Please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon with another video. And if I don't see you, I will miss you.